Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another quick video for you guys. I'm going to be looking over an article that's covering a quote from a very famous actor that we all know and love, Sebastian Stan, who plays the Winter Soldier. He wants to play the Riddler for DC and Warner Bros. Batman. So let's take a look at this article so you guys can see. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. Again, if you guys haven't already, just make sure to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of the upcoming news and videos that I'm going to be making. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, so now let's just take a look. This article at the top, I'm going to scroll up so you guys can see. Avengers Endgame star Sebastian Stan wants to play Batman villain the Riddler. There is a video attached which I will not play for you guys right now. You guys can go ahead and click on the link in the description below. I'll make sure that's there for you guys so you guys can do the research and see this for yourself. But I'm going to jump right ahead to this quote. So um, Stan took part in the, in the Just in Bello event in Rome and during the event he participated in a lengthy Q&A. During the Q&A he was asked um, if there was a role he would love to play that he hasn't had a chance to yet and a certain Batman villain known as the Riddler happened to come up. So here's the quote. It says here, I would love to try and play the Riddler. That's an interesting character, Stan said. I don't know how you'd play that one actually. That would be very hard to be honest because you couldn't be like crazy, crazy, crazy. You would have to be kind of much darker than that. But that's an interesting character. So this is really interesting. I mean, you guys are familiar with the character Riddler. He leaves puzzles, he leaves tricks and clues. He's trying to outsmart Batman, who is the world's greatest detective, arguably one of the greatest minds in the DC universe. But the Riddler has a very special mind, a much more eccentric kind of mind, and he wants to outsmart Batman at every turn. That's what he does. Now, Batman is always able to overcome the challenges put forth by the Riddler and stop the Riddler. However, he is one of the greatest villainous minds in the DC universe. So it would be really cool to see Sebastian Stan play this. And in that same spirit, we do have an image that was created by the great boss logic on Instagram for Sebastian Stan. I'll be honest, I didn't recognize him here um, as Sebastian Stan. I would not have recognized him at all, but it's really cool. Um, nevertheless, it does look like the Riddler. It looks like a much more modern take on the Riddler. Um, somewhere kind of like a balance between like Batman the Animated Series and uh, the Gotham Riddler, which is fun and playful, but also dark, whereas the uh, animated one is a little bit more on the edgy, darker side, which is interesting enough because it's, you know, it's animated. I really like this. I like Boss Logic. Um, I love his work. I will say that this doesn't, to me, look like Sebastian Stan, even though it is. I think it was just because he had to Photoshop the facial hair away and it kind of maybe just changed it a little bit too much for my taste, but it does look really good. I like that a lot, and I think that Sebastian Stan would play the part really well, and the reason why I say that is because if you guys are fans of Once Upon a Time, the TV show, you guys know that he plays the Mad Hatter. So in that show, he plays the Mad Hatter. It's very, very similar to the Riddler in that he's very weird, quirky, eccentric. His mind thinks on a very vastly different level. Now, other than the fact that his primary color isn't green, he does dress and behave a lot like the Riddler from the animated series. If you guys haven't seen that, um, it's really interesting watching Stan play that. He could probably channel a lot of the Mad Hatter into his performance as the Riddler and still give us a classic yet unique version of the Riddler. So when I saw Once Upon a Time and I was watching this, I, I didn't get very far. I think I got into like the third season, fourth season. However, when I saw him, he was one of my favorite characters. He really steals the moment, steals the show whenever he's there, which is difficult to do given uh, the performance by the actor who plays Rumpelstiltskin. That being said, I think that he would do a really good job, and especially neck across from Robert Pattinson's Batman, if that is the case. So again, that's a rumor as of the making of this video. May 22nd is when I made this video. So as of right now, nothing is confirmed. Robert Pattinson is confirmed to be in talks, but not confirmed to have gotten the role. So um, that's where we are right now as of the making of this video. I'm sure that time will tell what happens with that. But I do think that paired together, those two would make a really awesome dynamic uh, contrast both Sebastian Stan as the Riddler and then also Robert Pattinson as well as Batman. Would be really cool to see. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. That's all I really wanted to say as far as this video because again, nothing's confirmed. It's not, I'm not saying that Sebastian Stan is the Riddler. What this is saying is that Sebastian Stan wants to be the Riddler. So that I think is interesting. So leave a comment down below and let me know if you agree and you think that Sebastian Stan should play the Riddler in either Matt Reeves' Batman or maybe a sequel to Matt Reeves' Batman. Let me know what you guys have to say about this in the comment section below. And again, 
thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already really appreciate that guys and be sure to turn on notifications so that you can be alerted right away when i go live next time that way you guys won't miss a thing anyways thank you guys so much for watching you guys stay tuned for more right here on the stuff of legend Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.